Hey there, homesteaders. It's a crazy, windy, rainy day here in the desert. And luckily we filmed before we came out here because everything we're about to show you blew down and it's all wet and wild. <laughs> so today we want to show you just a tour of what we're hoping to get done here in 2021 and some of our big projects that we have coming up. And in the kitchen, I have made this is banana bread. And we're gonna eat it in a minute. So it is coconut pandan banana bread because mm. I was feeling tropical. Fancy. All right, well, we're gonna sit here and hide from the weather while you guys go check out what we've got coming up. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go check it out. We're Kaliki and Brett, a rugged and adventurous gay couple who are sick and tired of clashing with life in the city. So we decided to head into the desert to chase our dreams and thrive. Along with our furry friends Chuck and Momo, we'll explore DIY projects, tiny house construction, gardening, hiking, cooking, and share what it looks like to jump headfirst into homesteading. So subscribe and join us on our dusty adventures to build this desert dwelling. So right here is where we want to build an enclosure out of pallets so we can get some goats this year. We just want to start with a couple of goats as pets and figure out if it's something that we want to expand on at all. So we're going to use this little area for that. I think this should be big enough for a couple of goats and they'll also get to wander around with us and eat other things around some just be one of our family start working on all this napoli we got growing and eat that away hopefully yeah we want to get nigerian dwarfs probably i think so but sounds like the right ones for yes us. or that black one with four horns yeah that'd be fun be special so what we want a two start with two a weather and a doe yeah i think so yeah. that seems right brother and sister yeah. baby Chucky, come here. You want to be on film? Come, Chucky, come on. He's not going to do it. He said no. But so this is about 100 square feet, and yeah, we think that'll be good for two goats for now, and it connects directly into our yard. It's right by where we have our chickens, so it's kind of a nice little farmy corner. Eventually, we might want to get some more, but if we do that, it'll probably be on the other end of our property, because if we get a lot going, I don't think I want them right by the house. Yeah, it could be noisy if, like, all of them were right here. I'd yeah. Them. yeah. And so that's one of our big plans for the year. Another one right behind this, we are going to be getting a pretty big high tunnel. So let's go take a look at that. Yeah. So right now we have the camera set at the edge of where the new goat enclosure is going to be. And our high tunnel we're going to get is 16 feet wide by 100 feet. So we have this tape measure here. And Brett's going to go down there and show you how far away that is. Almost. All right, so from right here all the way down to where Brett is, that is 100 feet. So it's about the same square footage as our other high tunnel. It's just a little bit of uh, different dimensions. Can't wait for that. We're thinking um, May or June, we should have that project getting going or hopefully done. You choking? You got the choke? Oh, you puked. What did you puke? Momo the puke. Momo, where are you going? Chucky. Who's all these birds? Oh no. It's bad. I mean, it's not bad yet. I don't know if it will get bad, but it just felt the rain drop. Oh no. I'm feeling them all over. Oh no, I see them.
one of the reasons why we're putting our cabin a little further north than our yard is because we don't get as much sun as we thought we would for our solar panels and moving it just a little further north is gonna make it so we have more consistent sun all day long because days like today we can't do much of anything as far as electricity and if we want to like work on our videos on the computer or stuff like that today is not that day Oh, hi, Genevieve. Come on in. Today, I'm going to be making coconut pandan banana bread. I'm going to start with the wet ingredients. Here I have two bananas that are overly ripe, a little bit of sugar, some soy milk, a little bit of vegetable oil. I'm using canola oil today, as well as some pandan extract and just mash that all up together. And for the dry ingredients, I just have some all-purpose flour, some baking soda, some cinnamon, and the coconut flakes. And then I'm just gonna mix all that up together I will add that to my wet ingredients, and I realized I wasn't filming when I added the first half, so I'm adding in the second half now. also realized that I forgot to put in salt, so put a little bit of salt in. Mix that up and transfer it into these mini loaf pans. And put it in a 350 degree oven for probably about 20 five minutes. We'll see. Ooh. 20 minutes is definitely not how long it takes to bake those. It's going to be probably twice that. They might be a little bit overbaked now, but they're done. They smell really good. Mmm, beauty. So that's a little sneak peek of what we are hoping to do this year. Um, definitely stay tuned for all these episodes. I'm really excited to get all these projects going. I'm even more excited to have them done. And now I think is the perfect time for us to crack open that banana bread. What do you think, Momo? Let's just cut into it. Ah, yes. Slices. Cheers. That's nice. I like the texture that that coconut gives it. Yeah, me too. It's so nice to be able to hang out in here while it's storming. Yeah. And have our cute little animals. I wish we had a special anemia in here. And a couple goats. Mm, soon. We'll have some soon. Hopefully. Spread the butter, spread the love.
It's always better with butter. Where, where does butter come from? Where did cows just start happening? Where did butter come from? When did cows start happening? Well, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Is that thunder? It's just plastic. It's just plastic. That's crazy. It sounded like Rolling Thunder was coming to get me. We hope you enjoyed today's episode. Um, if you did enjoy this episode and want to see exclusive behind-the-scenes peeks and all the recipes from Brett's Kitchen and other fun, cool extras, then be sure to check out our Patreon page. And be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't get hit by a jet. We'll see you next Tuesday. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Uh, uh, uh.